if you've been paying attention to the video so far, this is going to be really, really simple. So, boundary angles in the unit circle. What do I mean by boundary angles in the unit circle? What I'm talking about is points on the circle that aren't in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4. I'm talking about this point, this point, this point, and this point. And then I need you to be able to say what the value of, say, cosine 90 degrees is, or what the value of sine 270 degrees is, because these are boundary angles. 90 degrees is right there from 0 to 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees. So what's the value of cos 90? This from here all the way around to here. This is 270 degrees. So what's the value of sine 270 degrees? Now, if you've been paying attention, you should remember that cos and sine have something to do with the coordinates of a dot as it moves around the circle. Now, we know the coordinates of these dots already. This one is 1, 0. This one is 0, 1. This one is negative 1, 0. And this one is 0, negative 1. And we also know that at any point on a circle, the coordinates of that dot are cos theta sine theta. And once you know all of that, it's obvious. Cos 90 degrees is up to here, and we can see it cos 90, cos 90, cos 90 will be equal to zero. And we can see that sine 270, sine is the y coordinate, and the y coordinate of 270 is negative one. So, we can fill in a neat little table that summarizes all of that. So really quickly, let's do the sine ones. The sine ones are always going to be the y coordinates as we move around this circle. So at zero degrees, which is right here, sine zero degrees is going to be zero. Sine 90 degrees is going to be here, and that is one. Sine 180 degrees is going to be here, and that is zero. 270 degrees is going to be here at negative one. And 360 is all the way around the circle, back where we started again, which is 0. Now, cos are all the x-coordinates, so faster now. 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and back to 360, 1 again. Oops, 1 again. And now you might be thinking, well, what's this extra row for? This extra row is for... 10. Now what about those tens? They don't correspond to this one or this one. But remember from a previous video that tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. So 0 divided by 1, I've got 0 cake, I give it to one person, that person gets 0 cake. Uh, 1 divided by 0. It's a big no-no to divide by zero. You can't do that. So this is undefined right here. Now zero divided by negative one, that's also zero. Negative one divided by zero is also undefined. Can't divide by zero. And finally, 360 divided by, uh, sorry, zero divided by one is zero. So that gives you an idea of what those boundary angles are. We're going to use those boundary angles to finally be able to sketch trigonometric functions.